Greetings, sir and sirettes, and welcome back to Airships Conquer the Skies with me, Lathrix. And of course, welcome back to the glorious map in which we have taken, honestly, a fair bit of it. So today, we are going to continue with this campaign, hopefully taking over the rest of the Red Faction and then fighting against the Blue Faction. But first, apparently we are about to be under attack, so Piranhas and Wraths, join forces and move over there. And before we do any of that, I have something else I want to do. I wish to create our very first boarding craft. Now, there's two schools of thought I have in my head right now about this. The first one is really, really fast crafts that can get next to the enemy without taking too much damage, throw all of the troops at the enemy, and then I don't really care what happens to the ship because hopefully we take over whatever we were trying to board. The second way of thinking is, currently we are fighting the same enemies over and over again and their major weakness is anything above them. Boarding blimps. It's so stupid, but I really want to make a boarding blimp and I'm sorry I'm using the same items over and over, but this is apparently just this run. I also want to test out these and make some kind of carrier, so... There's so many things we still need to do, so don't worry, there is so much more variance later. But right now, we are currently making our torpedoes stronger? You know what, I disagree with my previous choice. I want spider- oh my god, spider carriers. Hoo hoo hoo, spider carriers. Okay, well first of all though, I'm going to put that down a little bit. Because I do like me money. And let's research, well let's design, a brand new ship which will be our boarding craft. Now I don't have the air dragoons just yet. The air dragoons are essentially boarders which have jetpacks. So they simply jump off your craft and slowly float towards the, the enemy like evil angry ants. What we do have on the other hand, if we go to troops is we have the Marines. I thought we had more than that. One second. Am I still researching? No, I have the Harpooners. What's this then? That unlocks grappling hooks. Hmm. I am a little bit confuzzled then. Oh, Harpoon the Weapon Harpoon derp to her. I am so dim. Is that what it's talking about, or am I being even dimmer right now? That's my question I have for you guys. Don't actually answer that, please. I can answer it myself. So, yep, all that gave us was the harpoon weapon itself. We still needed to get that tech so it wasn't exactly a waste, but... It's not something I care about too much. Maybe we will include it, maybe we won't. I guess it could hold the enemy in place, at least, which will be interesting. So, we are going with the blimp design, because I just really, really like the blimp design, honestly. And I'm going to do this. Now, when it comes to the explosive potential of this particular thing, it does seem like, okay, if you do this, you can see how this thing will explode. It doesn't seem like it actually does explosive damage to anything but itself. But when it's attached to things, there we go. It does. So what I'm thinking is if we separate them by maybe one from each other, similar to how I separated the dust tank in the piranha from the chamber to avoid that explosion. What if we do this? I said this. So this way, there's at least a little bit of distance between each balloon. I don't know if that will actually work. I honestly don't. I don't know if this is going to be strong enough or if it's going to be too weak. I haven't got a clue, but I think it looks interesting, if nothing else. Don't know if it looks particularly good, but still. Okay, now, how many troops do we need to fully take over an area? An enemy? Well, I'm thinking one troop per enemy sailor. Would that make sense? You'd think that the marines are probably stronger than the standard sailors, but the enemy might have guards, which makes sense. So how about if we go with two of these? So we have two sets of the marine barracks. Which do cost a small fortune, by the way. Sadly, like sailors, these do have a maintenance cost. So something like that. Then we'll have the crew of the actual ship itself. Let's add a quarters. Don't know if we need that many, but for now... Okay, there we are. Add the bridge there. So we have all of our important people right next to the explosive dust tanks. Because I am a good leader of people, and you should trust me. Always. 
Propulsion, we could... Hmm, we could go with a coalless run and have... Where are you? I'm completely blind. Large sails, I think it'll look awesome. Speed's 120, server ceiling's quite low. Uh, sorry, it's quite high, which is good. What else do we need? Well, we of course need the supply hatch. Now, the supply hatch, I believe, is also the way of getting your troops out in order to invade an enemy's ship. So... If we go to resources, we have these, the cargo doors. A large door for quickly resupplying the ship and moving troops and crew. So is this where they jump out of? If so, I'd probably want it just like this. Get the enemy close to the cargo door, then hope for the best. In which case, if we do go with our weapon, we go with the ever-glorious harpoon gun. I suppose we'll want this like here. And then we want the small ammo. Next to that, or close to that. I mean, honestly, does it need many shots? Now, I'm about to say something really stupid, but does this require ammo, or is it okay with what it's already got? I know it sounds silly, it's a weapon, it most likely requires ammo, but... I don't know, yeah, it must do. It must do, it'd be silly, plus it's currently telling me that I need ammunition, so I'm going to assume it's not lying to me and being a bit of a naughty, and I do actually need an ammo store. Right next to everything that's important. Um, let's put it there, a little bit further away, but not by much. It's not exactly a safe ship to be on, it must be said. Especially one which wants to get so close to the enemy, but still. This is more of a tester anyway, I just wanted to see how this whole thing- It's called the Wendigo! Naturally, the phone went off as soon as I realised the name of this thing. It's called the Wendigo, and that, I think, fits really well, so I think I'm going to leave it. That looks terrifying. Looks like a really weird, like, face mask. Okay, Wendigo. You're uh, being saved for now. Now, I really wish I had the fire extinguishers because I don't really have enough space to add the full anti-fire stuff. So, just leaving that as it is then. I don't know if the harpoon's really worth it. And also, yeah, if we remove the harpoon, I'd feel far less bad about having less people on board. But for now, just while I'm testing it, this is the initial test of our Legion. So... Let's leave. You're coming this way. Yeah, there's no chance we can build it in time, though. Uh, let's build two of them. Where are you, Wendigo? There we are. Build two of those. You're heading there and should get there in time, I imagine, to defend. Oh, it's going to be close. Darn it, no. Um, we should win this. Uh, it'll be close, it'll be close, but we do have a chance. Depends on how fast we hit their um, pressurized dust tanks. That was some terrible bombing accuracy by the enemy, my lord! That's the best that's ever gone for us! Well, too bad for you then, sir. Okay, so then. Can we invade... We can definitely invade buildings, but we'll be shredded by that, so never mind. I'd like to attack an enemy, but no one's got any enemies available for me right now. How about in the small cities? Let's see if we can find a small city. There we go. Let's invade this one. Just send a single. Oh. One of our places just broke from us. Let's take that back. Hopefully it'll be a, yep, uncontested victory. Gentle takeover. Invade there. Recall the spies. No need them to be there right now. It's currently dawn. So, sadly, that doesn't really affect us. Okay, just, um, get nice and close, nice and fast. So if we go on boarding, that's our range, uh, which is pretty much nothing. Okay. Now boarding. The enemy is ours. <laughs> Lovely. Now, can I move our boarded troops over there? Oh, I can! Terrible idea, though. What? Okay, yep, shouldn't have done that. Okay, good to know. That was that was a terrible cho choice. I'm sorry. Flee? Flee. <laughs> that was weird. Okay, just move over there, then. Let's try that again, but this time, um... Well, we now know that... 
you really shouldn't try to move them like that because that ooh causes problems. Hello. Please keep attacking. Come on. Yes, good boy. Okay, you defend. Ooh, good. Hello. If we give the order to board, I assume then the next time we move next to them, that we will instant. Wow, look at them all climbing to the top. Well, that is fascinating. Jump, lads, jump! <laughs> they actually did! What? Excuse me, you're under new management! Wow, their crew's really good. Also, the harpoon gun hasn't fired once yet. Have you noticed that? Yay, we win! Okay, we just captured it. So, I think we have to capture their bridge to take control. Which means that we now finally have access to one of these, which is cool. But yeah, the harpoon gun didn't fire. Is there a specific button you need to press? Oh, launch tether. Okay. 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 Wow, we like, only just about won that, though, on a side note. But look, we have that ship now under our command. Ha! Huh. That's fun. Hello. Uh, let's fire the tether this time to start off with. Did that not hit or something? Wait. No, that's one of our sailors. I thought we just stole one of their sailors. Oh, let's be up above here. Ignore me. Ign there we go. Jump, jump, jump! <laughs> you are the royal standard. Let's have a look see at you. Rena, okay, yeah, um. Move over there, but I, I keep doing that. No, ro Royal Standard, move there. You stay there. I want to, um, dissect the ship. Oh, I can actually save this now, can't I? There we go. The Royal Standard, that's what I'm calling this. So it has. Oh, it does have a crow's nest. Do bombs get affected by the crow's nest? That's a very good question. You have two fire points? One large ammo store, uh, two small coal. You have quite a high maintenance. I think the Wrath is just outright better than you. No, maybe not outright better. It's definitely different. Because it because it's using these, these are fully protected. As you can see, they're armor, And, more specifically, they have brick walls. Right, is that brick wall? No, what is that then? Stone wall? Oh, it's stone. Okay, that's even better. Yeah, um... 80 HP, 2 blast damage, 3 piercing damage resistance. Just because of the huge um, HP increase, I'd say it's better than steel. Or at least this version of steel. And they're using that to protect all the bombs, and because they have those chambers, they can afford that. I see. So the bombs are very, very well protected. That's why That's why they're always fighting when they crash. They, ne they very rarely crash with their weapons turned off. That's interesting. Well, I'm learning a lesson today, aren't I? Uh, you there. <laughs> I am way too tired today. Uh, I know I keep on saying about the fact I have chronic insomnia at the moment, but I am really struggling right now. It's got to the point where I've actually got a doctor's appointment specifically for it later today, because it's currently very early in the morning. And this isn't the first time it's happened either, because almost all natural remedies and general medication either give me nightmares or don't work. And by nightmares, I mean full-on night terrors. Yeah, it's something I've happily got from my father there. Hi-ho. On the upside, it does mean I spend my nights doing this. You know? Taking over areas. Ooh, spider legs! Ooh, mech spiders! Ooh, taking over places! You know what I mean? There's fun things to do. Didn't I send two of you? Were you not merged? Uh, flee for now. I thought... Nope, I didn't wait for you to get there. Nope, I just saw a defeat. Ah, uncontested defeat. Um, yeah, you guys take that back. Pirates! I really need to deal with them at some point. Though it keeps on saying they became air orb. Oh, is it different pirates? No, it's just the same ones over and over again. You know they're in the air. Yes, I know. They're in the air. Game, I know. Thank you. Uh, do you know those enemies? Yes. Airborne, I know. Actually, stay in that position. That seems fine. Uh, that island's a little bit annoying, but hopefully you can just move like this. Onwards! 
Doop -a -doop -a -doo. Okay, that's gonna blow. Uh, do that. You do that. Oh look, yeah, the other balloon didn't detonate. That's good. I mean, now it's finally blue completely. But yeah, it didn't detonate. Okay, uh, from now on, that's how I'm building my airships. Feel the wrath of the Legion. Oh, look at you. You're really reinforcing. Uh, piranhas, move there. You guys can get back and get repaired. You were about to take that back. Excellent. Yeah, you're not... You're really not winning this. Once again, really hope that in, in the harder difficulties we have... Um, more enemy variety, because at the moment I'm just experimenting with different ideas. I'm not really... Not really challenged all that much right now. <laughs> oh, I love rockets. Oh, I really do. There's so much... Oh, you guys. Could we take these over? God, we take so much damage, though. But it would be fun. Although I do kind of want to use the spiders against them. Okay, we're making um, spider aircraft carrier things next time. Could try and invade this, but that'd be silly. Never gonna work. Um, you invade that. Wraths. You know what? Yeah, wraths go here. Let's get them moving. We have lots of swarms. People did suggest with the swarms, rather than rockets, using the torpedoes. The problem is... The torpedoes are incredibly, incredibly, INCREDIBLY expensive. If we go to, not build landship, design landship and open... Where are you? The swarm? Hello, swarm. The cost is 248. To swap out its weapon for... The air torpedo, which should be there, there we are, would almost double the cost. This weapon is almost the cost of everything included right here. It's just not worth it. Maybe one or two elite versions, but um, on the whole, it wouldn't be the best. Also, the game is not letting me progress because I didn't do this yet. There we are. Okay, good. You're going to defend. That's fine. That's kind of what I want you to do, honestly. Actually, send spy, you city. There's almost no defense there. Okay, instead, Wender goes, you go there, you start taking over there. I want to take over their airships. Yeah, this should either surrender or just outright die. Um, it does have a flak, though, so... For the sake of safety and keeping my sanity... Let's move these down here. All of you, aim fire. Did you just detonate upon... Not even going to ask what just happened. Yeah, move a bit closer. At night time, with, with the low accuracy, your rockets are never going to hit. Also, you're the old version of the Piranhas, which really needs to be updated. There we go. Good. And I'll pillage that, because I want to get to 10,000, because I'm just that mean. Wait, can you still reach? Wow. Yeah, forgot to check what the um, ceiling actually was, even though I was mentioning it in the last video. Whoops. That's uh, my bad. You board you. You go after this fellow in a second. Yeah, it seems like it's best to at least start the boarding process so everyone's ready. Come on. Thank you. Go over there. You. Go over there. Then throw your people at them. And you can launch a tether. You can launch a tether. Oh, God, I want to launch the tether. Let me launch the tether. Okay, you're captured, you're captured. We have two more ships. The best thing is we could have sell these things if we wanted to. And gentle takeover. We go further into the enemy's land. Now, I do want to see one thing, and that is how the spider legs work. So what we're going to do is save the game, then we're going to go into the test mode. The only reason I'm doing this is I don't like to test too much before I make a design. But I have been told by quite a few people that the spider legs are 
a little bit off when it comes to how they work in the game at the moment, and I want to know how often that occurs. So I'm going to build a really quick craft, just spider legs plus basic weaponry, and just move it around in a few fights just to see how that works. Plus, it'd be cool to see the spider legs, let's be honest. Okay, so I'm not actively fighting right now. Wait, is that normal speed? Jesus, this thing's quick. So yeah, we have an enemy which is exactly the same as us and can't do anything, so... Hi. Uh, seems okay in this one test. Now, of course, that's not much, but it, as long as it can hold... Yeah, as long as it can work on normal ground, I'm okay with that. Ramming speed! What? What? <laughs> I just detonated! Help us. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, that's all I wanted to see. That is really all I wanted to see. So let's continue. But where would we be without this exact fight, eh? Oddly enough, we had victory. Now you, go over there. Now I want to do one thing, and I have to do this, I don't even care if I lose while doing this. Uh, just flee, we'll take you back in a second. This! How does it feel to be against your own troops? Now, we are definitely going to lose these two, but I really don't care all that much. Because honestly, it'll be kind of fun to see them lose their own things. Wait, how high can you two go? Is that your ceiling, yeah? Wait, what? That can't be right. No, yeah, you can't get higher than where you are. Otherwise, you'd be able to... Why do you never go that high versus the Wrath? I don't get it. Wait, no, 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 this makes no sense. I always beat you because you are always, without fail, underneath our bombers. Oh, don't say it's the AI that just won't go above that starter ceiling. Oh, now I feel really unfair. I really hope it's not the case. Are you, like, not in range? No, you're definitely in range, otherwise you'd be saying, We can't fire anything, sir. Let's see how you like them falling on you. Squish. I want to make sure I'm definitely falling on the last one. <laughs> it just soared it in half. Well, that almost just outright won straight away, didn't it? Okay, we'll take this back off you. Thank you very much. Hello. Oh, further away, please. You're going to be hit by your own explosions. Now, where are our borders? Uh, you two... Yeah, just the Wendigos, please. Go and take over what's left of that. And over here, I'm making some more Wendigos. Come and take over that in just a second. Oh, seriously, who just broke quite you guys? I'll deal with you in a second. Oh. Had no fight back. Of course it didn't. Uh, Q2, please get that. Thank you. Hello. When you're both in range, could you please board that fellow? That'd be lovely. Hello! Oh look! Did some of those guys just jump to their death? I could have... I, I swore I just saw, saw people falling. They're birds. But I think someone just jumped onto there as well. I don't know what just happened. I don't know what happened. Oh, for Pete's sake. Go on, boarders. Do your job. I'd say two is enough to... Die? No, we'll get more. We'll get more first. Okay. Let's see what happened. Okay, we're getting there. The one a couple of you actually jumped. Um, you're a bit out uh, outnumbered there. And outmaneuvered. Probably both. Oh, you've been bombed by your own type of out ship. You're on fire. Oh, no. This isn't gonna... No, I don't want to board this.
You're a bit on fire. Maybe we should have used the harpoons. Um, hi. Yeah, you stay on the uh, stay on the balloon. That's fine. So can they not actually jump out of the? Well, that then. Can they, can they not jump out of the supply hatch? Is my question. And if so, I guess what would be best to do then is get an area they can jump out of earlier. I don't really know. It seems odd. Plus, they, they're kind of climbing these anyway, so I'm sure they can walk along on the scaffolding. Not quite sure what to do about that. Where did my borders... Oh, yeah, I was waiting for more of them to be created. That's it. Piranhas, can you just defend this? Oh, Raiders, hello. Sure, you can take money for a while, have fun. So many things for next time. The usual fight, blah, blah, blah. Can you please just... There we go. You're going to try and take over that. So I'll defend that. Well, I'll invade it and then defend what's left of it, I suppose. These wraths, go and take back that. Wendigos, you do you. And you take over that. So here we are then. We have four of the Wendigo. Versus these two buildings. So you two get there like that. I'm going to drop down. You two same, but for the other building. I don't know if it is better to get the boarding started because they can be shot down, is the problem, once they're outside. Now, annoyingly, these guys do have cannons, so instead, slight change of plan. You go as low as you can like that. You go here, so only a couple of the cannons can fire at you. Same with you guys, except for... Oh, no, that side's not, not as bad. Okay, so, like that. Okay, you two just board as soon as you can, because you're about to be exploded. Oh look, they can walk along the floor, that's cool. Looks like we still managed to get all of our troops on board though, so... That's it, take out the bridge! Oh, This one's captured! Seems like these actually did have guards. And we win! Ow. Despite terrible tactics, yeah, we won. Gentle takeover. Okay. Okay, you're really annoying. You know that? Prepare for the usual fight. As usual, in fact. And you're gone. Cool. And let's take over that so I have completely removed all of your forces from our territory. And this, uh, now, this enemy has flak, so... So why don't we start right next to the floor? I was about to say, I need to start somewhere where I can move down nice and quickly, but why not just do this? And to make sure we don't land on each other if they do explode, there we are, all on aimed fire, and go. Not the best aim. Apparently one of you exploded. Well, we destroyed some of the ground in the process, which is pretty fun. Okay, I'm ignoring you, because if I do this, 
There we go. So, I'm afraid I really am all out of time for today's video. I'm about to head off and try and get some sleep at long last, and I really do hope you've enjoyed today's video. Honestly, boarding seems really powerful and a lot of fun. Considering this was a craft I built in like 5-6 minutes, I'm okay with that. That seemed really effective. Now, in the next video, we're going to be testing out how the different carrier system works. So, the different carrier systems work. Things like this, the triplanes, the biplanes, and the bombers. I want to see how all of those things get stuff done. Hopefully, they're really effective because I love carriers in games, and I'm hoping this will be no exception. So, if you have enjoyed the video, then of course, likes, favorites, shares, comments, all that good stuff helps out me, helps out the channel, and most importantly, shows that Airships Conquer the Skies is a series you wish to see continued in the future. Thank you so, so much for watching, and goodbye. Hopefully, next time, I won't sound so drowsy. <laughs> Thank you, and goodbye again.